The future of cloud security is bright. Well, that's good to know. But then you're probably wondering, why then are we making a 40-minute presentation on this? It's important to understand what is cloud security, why it's important, and where is it heading. This is because simply getting on the cloud doesn't automatically ensure you of an improved security posture. Securing your cloud is an iterative process of optimization and creating a security design to match the company's goals, both now and in the long run. Those organizations that view cloud security as a journey and not as a destination will see greater success in the coming months and years ahead as cloud computing will continue to underpin businesses, commerce and communication like never before. Hi, I am Lina Bongale, Manager of Data Analytics and Governance at TD Bank. Today, along with Pankul Chitrav, we will be spending the next 30 to 40 minutes speaking to you about the upcoming trends in cloud security. And we'll also discuss some of the prominent threats in the cloud and what solutions can be applied for them. Before I hand it over to Pankul for her quick self-introduction, I would like to thank you for your time and joining us today. We hope our presentation is informative for you. We would love to hear your questions and welcome you to type in the questions in the Q&A box below the slide. So with that, over to Pankul. Thank you, Lena. Hello, everyone. I am Pankul Chitrao and I've been working in TD Bank for more than two years as Senior Software Lead. I have experience in Microsoft Technologies from more than last 14 years. My certification includes Certified in uh, Scrum Master, Agile Certified Practitioner, and uh, Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist. Recently, I was part of Skill Enhancement in DevOps conducted by Microsoft. I've been working with DevOps tools like Jenkins, Octopus, Elastic Sync, and so on. I am very passionate about Agile way of working and continuous automation I like automating and uh, reducing operational cost as well as development cost. I believe that I thrive best when provide with the challenges. I hope today's session will be a value add to you and your organization. There's no doubt that cloud has the potential to be more secure than your traditional on-premise solutions. The key word here is potential. Just because cloud can be more secure doesn't mean businesses will always enjoy greater protection when they make the shift. This has less to do with the cloud and more to do with how businesses approach security, management, and oversight. In other words, it's what you do with the cloud that matters. The infrastructure itself won't insulate you from the dangers that are out there in the cyber landscape. 2020 is unquestionably the year of maturity for cloud storage solutions. Nearly a decade ago, the cloud was still a new idea and was only being used by startups. While cloud services are still not perfect, you can build better security today on the cloud than you can over your own premises, which is significant. Enterprises are now using more cloud services, and as a result, we will see more development of hybrid cloud topologies and more investment in edge computing. For many organizations, the shift to the cloud means completely reimagining and optimizing their stacks for a cloud native implementation. This means that in the coming years, a few new security trends will likely take hold. 
To ensure you're prepared for the rapidly approaching cloud security future, we will discuss a few upcoming trends in cloud security that both IT and security leaders should keep an eye on. Before we look into the upcoming trend of uh, cloud security, let's try to understand what is cloud security and why it is so important in today's scenario and uh, why are organizations spending innumerable hours, resource and time for this. So cloud security involves the procedures and technologies that secure cloud-based environment from internal as well as external cybersecurity threats. Thus, we can say that it uh, consists set of policies, controls, procedures and technologies that work together to protect cloud-based systems data and infrastructure. These security measures are configured to protect cloud data, customer data, regulatory compliance, and as well as setting authentication rules for individual users and devices. From authenticating access to filtering of traffic, cloud security can be configured to the exact need of the business. So does it mean that uh, as a business owner, I give a requirement to cloud security and uh, cloud provider implement it and that's it? No, it's more than that. Let's take a look. The way cloud security is delivered depends on the individual cloud provider or the cloud security solutions in place. However, implementation of cloud security processes should be a joint responsibility between the business owner and the solution provider. So to summarize, what is cloud security? We can say that it consists of set of policies, control procedures and technologies working together to protect cloud environment and customer data. And it is a joint responsibility between the business owner and solution provider. Now let's take a look into the very important aspect and that is why. Why is cloud security important? Why are organizations more concerned about cloud security and are spending innumerable amount of time, resource and money on it? Now, let's take a look into the very important question and that is why. Why is cloud security important? Why are organizations more concerned about cloud security and are spending innumerable amount of time, resource and money on it? Whenever we come across any cloud security breach, most of the time it is always data of customers which get compromised, resulting into business loss. To avoid this scenario, cloud security becomes essential for cloud providers. Cloud providers not only must satisfy their customers, they also must follow certain regulatory requirements for storing sensitive data such as credit card numbers and health information. Third party audits of a cloud security system and procedures help ensure that users' data is safe. Most of the companies may believe that their data is safer on their own local server where they have more control over the data. However, on premises, data can be more vulnerable to security breaches depending on the type of the attack. To overcome this threat, cloud service providers have designed and implement superior security measures, which we will take a look into in the next slide. What are the aspects of cloud security? Cloud security is the protection of data, applications, and infrastructures involved in cloud computing. Many aspects of security for cloud environments, whether it's public, private, or hybrid cloud, are the same as for any on-premise IT architecture. High-level security concerns. Like unauthorized data exposure and leaks, weak access controls, susceptibility to attacks, and availability disruptions affect traditional IT and cloud systems alike. Like any computing environment, cloud security involves maintaining adequate preventative protections so you know that the data and systems are safe, can see the current state of security, know immediately if anything unusual happens, and 
can trace and respond to unexpected events. Let's look at the top developing cloud security trends. Cloud security is a vibrant, fast moving space. Technologies, policies, controls, and services are your best tools to protect your cloud data, applications, and infrastructure from threats. As enterprises across industry continue to accelerate digital initiatives with cloud native tools, security is becoming more critical than ever and new trends are bound to emerge. To keep you ahead of the curve, here are the top developing trends that will shape cloud security in 2021. Organizations understand the inherent risk in using dozens of security products to manage cloud infrastructure. Even a small organization might manage 15 or 20 separate security tools. And then on the other end of the spectrum are some of the largest organizations which often find themselves fatigued by the effort to manage more than 120 separate security products. Security teams are hungry for solutions that will provide risk clarity for their cloud presence. Cloud providers like Azure, Google, Alibaba, and AWS have their own native security features, but these nascent offerings are limited in what they are able to protect and are often not well integrated. Most organizations use multiple cloud service providers in addition to their own private clouds or on-premise hardware. This hybrid operating model is a security problem the cloud service providers are not yet able to address. Looking at the year ahead and beyond, we'll begin to see the rise of cloud native security platforms called CNSPs. These platforms will enable security teams to manage all the security across public, private, and hybrid clouds from a single console. Silo security operations will be integrated into these comprehensive platforms. Capabilities such as governance and compliance, threat detection and response, container security, data loss prevention, and serverless security will all live in a single pane of glass. Watch for these platforms to develop and mature over the next two years. The last few years, machine learning techniques have seen great success in many cybersecurity applications, including cloud security. Machine learning techniques have been used in various ways to prevent or detect attacks and security gaps on the cloud. There's a lot of moving parts in the cloud and you don't necessarily have a full picture of what's going on. To effectively harness artificial intelligence and machine learning, you need massive amounts of unbiased data. The recommended way to get this is by working with a partner that has global telemetry monitoring and analytics of cloud security incidents and a proven track record with AI and machine learning. By doing so, you'll have full confidence that the proverbial needle in the haystack won't be missed. Less obvious connections will be made, bad actors will be stopped, and your company is properly safeguarded against potential risks. Over the next 18 months, we will start to see some examples of machine learning deployed within some very specific use cases. It will start to show up in areas like data classification, or malware detection, that's machine learning that can evaluate security configurations from multiple different angles, just as an attacker would. A great example would be the area of identity and access management. Automated reasoning will be utilized to determine if policies are effective, overly permissive, etc. As companies embrace cloud computing, most struggle to keep pace with the increasingly complex environment and an expanding attack surface that challenges long-standing security conventions. The sheer volume of devices, applications, and users working in the cloud creates an ecosystem that is far too complex and high volume to be safeguarded by human security analysts. 
companies need to bolster their security teams and practices with machine learning and artificial intelligence capabilities in order to have the best chance at maintaining visibility, mitigating risk, and optimizing for their most precious resources, human analysts. One of the biggest developments in the cloud security arena over the past few years has been the implementation of continuous monitoring. With a continuous monitoring approach, businesses are able to collect security-related insights round the clock, which can be used to facilitate better updates on the back end. It means they don't have to wait for a loophole to be exposed before it's addressed. They can keep their finger on the pulse of what's happening and get the upper hand. There are two types of security technologies. There are those that detect an attack and respond. These are known as reactive security features. Then there are those that can actually predict a compromising event before it occurs and jump in to prevent it from happening. These are known as predictive security features. Predictive security is the way of the future. This technology collects and analyzes unfiltered endpoint data using the power of the cloud to make predictions about and protect against future and as yet unknown attacks. This means predictive security is in the cloud can identify attacks that other endpoint security products miss and provides visibility into attacks that evolve over time. Predictive security is proactive rather than passive. It essentially allows you to hunt down threats before the attacker hunts you. It creates a much more playing field for security teams and removes much of the surprise element that attackers rely so much on. Underscoring predictive security is a sophisticated web of artificial intelligence and machine learning technology. As one security expert describes it, humans, businesses are the tortoises while threats are the hares. It may be impossible to keep up with the rapid onslaught and sheer volume of hostile attacks that hit networks, but AI and machine learning are making it possible to identify them earlier and initiate response trust strategies that neutralize threats at scale. Another benefit of new artificial intelligence cybersecurity models is that they are contextual understanding, which reduces the volume of false positive that eat up a security professional's time and effort and cause undue pressure and frustration throughout large organizations. In this sense, artificial intelligence allows for greater efficiency and maximization of resources. Now, let's look into the role the DevOps plays in implementing cloud security. Most organizations understand the technical benefits of shift left, but adoption has lagged. Shift left is nothing but a practice in software development wherein team focus on quality and work on problems prevention instead of detection by continuous testing and continuous deployment. Keyword here is continuous. However, as cloud security consolidation progresses and CNSPs become more common, security teams and their DevOps counterparts will have a more viable path to shift left. These platforms will give organizations the ability to seamlessly integrate security into the development pipeline and will ensure cloud agnostic protections across all clouds. For example, many organizations are rapidly adopting infrastructure as code as they attempt to automate more of their build processes in the cloud. When teams shift to IAC, they can avoid the manual creation and configurations of infrastructure in favor of writing code. IAC templates are a great way to consistently enforce security standards. CNSPs can scan IAC templates for issues in the development pipeline and also offer automated remediations to quickly address any security issues in the cloud environment. The challenge today, however, is that DevOps teams are not reviewing IAC templates for misconfigurations. Recent research indicates while IAC offers security teams a predictable way to enforce security standards, 
this powerful capability remains largely unharnessed. In the same report, researchers found nearly 200,000 insecure IAC templates in use. DevOps and DevSecOps have repeatedly been demonstrated to improve code quality and reduce exploits and vulnerabilities, and increase the speed of application development and feature deployment. Integration development, QA, and security processes within the business unit or application team, instead of relying on a standalone security verification team, is crucial to operating at the speed today's business environments demand. The broad adoption of a multi-cloud strategy creates visibility issues. With the move into the new decade, security teams and IT leaders will continue to search for ways to gain the level of visibility they once enjoyed on-premises. Highly dynamic cloud resources make visibility difficult. However, security platforms that leverage cloud provider APIs will offer richer context for cloud-based workloads, including containers, serverless, and platform as a service. Much of this will be fueled by the consolidation of smaller or single vendors. For example, providers offering cloud workload protection or data loss prevention. By 2021, these niche vendors will likely find themselves choosing between acquisition or liquidation because the market is beginning to demand integrated platform versus point solution. Garnier has named distributed cloud as the future of cloud. Organizations that are reluctant to a total migration to the public cloud model use a combination or hybrid of private cloud and public cloud computing. Hybrid cloud breaks the value proposition of public cloud. The organization retains responsibility for their private cloud environment but they cannot leverage the full spectrum of capabilities offered by the public cloud provider, such as the innovation pace. Distributed cloud provides public cloud options to different physical locations. Essentially, the public cloud company maintains, operates, and evolves the services, but physically executes at the point of need. Distributed cloud helps with low latency scenarios, reduces data cost, and helps accommodate privacy laws and regulations that dictate that data must remain in a specific geographical area. As cloud platform services see an increase in use, there has been an explosion in the number of unmanaged risks in the mission-critical digital industry. Cloud security posture management automates cloud security management across the diverse cloud infrastructure. CSPM tools empower companies to identify and remediate risk through security assessments and automated compliance monitoring. Since the cloud environment has been expanding over many areas, organizations can use CSPM to consolidate any possible misconfigurations and comply with regulations such as GDPR, HIPAA, and CCPA. This strengthens the client's confidence and trust in your business cloud security posture. So the use of CSPM tools come with many advantages including finding misconfigured network connectivity, assessing data risk, and detecting exceedingly liberal account permissions, continuous monitoring of the cloud environment to detect any policy violations, ability to automatically remedy the misconfiguration in some cases, and last but not the least, compliance with common standards for best practices. Prepare for the future of cloud native security today. As we enter a new era in cloud security, there is little doubt that public cloud platform will continue to evolve as warp speed. This unprecedented rate of change will force organizations to continually rethink the way they build and manage their applications. The accessibility and ease of use provided by the cloud has opened the door to unfettered innovations, empowering business owners to move fast and deliver enormous value. This accessibility and ease of use has also had the adverse effect of rendering many traditional security and governance models 
all but obsolete. As a result, security teams need to re-evaluate existing processes and tools to ensure they are able to keep up with both the risk and demand the business requires in the age of cloud native. Public key infrastructure, also known as PKI, is a fundamental security tool used by most organizations today. However, with the introduction of proliferation of IoT, cloud and DevOps, the role of PKI is changing. PKI is complex, requiring secure facilities, trained personnel, and the right hardware and software to run it effectively and keep it under control. To achieve this goal with limited IT and security resources, more and more organizations are moving their PKI to the cloud. Agility and security of cloud infrastructure has enabled high secure cloud-based PKI deployments, which are hosted and managed by the trusted partners. Cloud PKI benefits businesses in numerous ways as it is ensures ensuring seamless and secure operations, reduces cost and accelerate time to value and saves significant time and resources by delegating labor intensive PKI management functions to the cloud. Now that we've gone through the key cloud security trends, let's look at some of the biggest security challenges we are facing this year and how cloud security solutions can help your organization overcome them. Most cloud computing security risks are related to cloud data security, whether a lack of visibility of data, inability to control data, or theft of data in the cloud, most issues come back to the data customers put in the cloud. Let's look at the top security issues in software as a service, IIS, and private cloud, how often they are experienced by enterprise organizations around the world. Before we look at the solutions to the cloud security, let's look at some of the most notorious cloud security issues. The denial of service attack. This is an attempt to affect service availability for users. Distributed denial of services or DDoS is used to launch denial of service using multiple computers. The phishing attack. This is an attempt to manipulate and gain personal information from innocent people by redirecting them to a false link. At cloud, an attacker may be hosting a cloud service to hide the accounts and services of other cloud users via a phishing attack site. The man in the middle attack, where an attacker is able to access the communication path between two users. An intruder can access information interactions between data centers in the cloud. Poor access management. Access management is one of the most common cloud computing security risk. The point of access is the key to everything. That's why attackers are targeting it so much. There are other attacks as well, such as the cloud malware injection attack, breach of confidentiality, authentication attacks, attacks of virtuali virtualization, etc. Data breach and data leak are the main cloud security concerns. There is no concern more palpable than a data breach. It's something every organization is focused on. However, few have the resources and strategies in place to truly tackle it in a worthy manner. This makes it a critical concern and something that has to be dealt with in a proactive and preventative way. Failure to deal with data properly through deliberate encryption opens your business to a huge compliance risk, not to mention data breach penalties, fines, and serious violations of customer trust. The onus is on you to protect your customer and employee data, regardless of what any service level agreement says. What is a data breach? It is an accident in which the information is accessed and extracted without authorization. This event usually results in a data leak, AKA data located where it is not supposed to be. How data breaches occur. The information in the cloud storage is under multiple levels of access. You can't just stumble upon it under normal circumstances. However, it is available from various devices and accounts with cryptographic keys. 
In other words, a hacker can get into it if he knows someone who has access to it. Compliance and regulatory mandates. It's commonplace for organizations, particularly smaller and mid-sized companies to assume that they are getting maximum protection simply by working with a cloud solution provider. But there's more to it that meets the eye. Compliance goes beyond international and federal regulations. There are also additional industry mandates that must be addressed. Examples include the EU data protection, PCI DSS, FISMA, GLBA, HIPAA, and FERPA, to name just a few. According to the Cloud Security Alliance's Cloud Adoption Practices and Priorities Survey report, 34% of companies are currently avoiding the cloud because they don't believe their IT and business managers have the knowledge and expertise to handle the demands of cloud computing. This makes it one of the top four concerns businesses have in regard to cloud security. The average enterprise now has between three and four clouds. This creates added layers of complexity that require technical competency and relevance experience. This speaks to a larger trend that we'll expect to see emerge in the coming months and years. Rather than just having managerial experience and financial literacy, IT and business managers will be required to bring technical cloud competency to the table. This doesn't mean they'll have to be cloud experts, but basic understanding and the ability to lead targeted initiatives becomes integral. Cloud migration is happening in droves, but it has to be handled properly. Otherwise, it exposes the business to unnecessary risk. According to one report, the four biggest challenges facing businesses are visibility into infrastructure security, that is 43%, compliance is 38%, setting security policies is 35%, and security failing to keep up with the pace of challenge in applications is 35%. As a result, security professionals and IT professionals are feeling overwhelmed by everything that's being asked of them. Simpler and more straightforward migration strategies will help business manage this transition flawlessly. Trying to accomplish everything at once is a major mistake. The migration process should be broken down into stages to reduce the risk of critical errors that could corrupt data and or lead to vulnerabilities. It's a good business practice to trust your employees. Unfortunately, many businesses take this trust too far and fail to wet the driving factors behind their trust on the front end. According to research from Intel, insider threats are responsible for an incredible 43% of all breaches. Half are intentional and half are accidental. More specifically, businesses need to think about access management and limiting who can access what and when. Access to cloud applications and data sources should be given on an as required basis. Open source packages are vulnerable. Most often hackers poison the well in the Git repo, waiting for developers to use the packages and later compromise the applications through a well-prepared attack vector. The right cloud security solutions provide the technical capacity to abide by regulatory mandates, but there has to be regular oversight and granular attention to detail. Under the responsibility model, the cloud provider offers security of the cloud, while the end user provides security in the cloud. So, how to handle these issues? In a gist, the solution is distinct layout for access management on the server side. This layout means determining the availability of information for different types of users, for example, the marketing department doesn't need to have access to the quality assurance department protocols and vice versa. A cloud security system must have a multi-layered approach that checks and covers the whole extent of user activity every step of the way. This practice includes multi-factor authentication. The user must present more than evidence of their identity and access credentials. For example, 
Typing a password and then receiving a notification on a mobile phone with a randomly generated single use string of numbers active for a short period, this has become one of the cloud security standards nowadays. Data at rest encryption. Data at rest is a type of data that is stored in the system but not actively used on different devices. This process includes logs, databases, datasets, etc. Perimeter level firewall between a private and a public network that controls in and out of traffic in a system. Internal firewalls to monitor authorized traffic and detect anomalies. Data loss. If a data breach wasn't bad enough, there is an even worse cloud security threat. It can get irreversibly lost. Data loss is one of the cloud security risks that are hard to predict and even harder to handle. Let's look at three of the most common reasons for data loss. Data alteration. When information is in some way changed and cannot be reverted to the previous state, this issue may happen with dynamic databases. Unreliable storage medium outage when data gets lost due to problems on the cloud provider's side. Data deletion, that is accidental or wrongful erasure of information from the system with no backups to restore. The reason is usually a human error, messy database structure, system glitch or malicious intent. Loss of access, when information is still in the system but unavailable due to lack of encryption keys and other credentials, for example, personal account data. How to prevent data loss from happening? Backups. Frequent data backups are the most effective way of avoiding data loss in the majority of its forms. You need a schedule for the operation and a clear delineation of what kind of data is eligible for backups and what is not. Use data loss prevention software to automate the process. Geodiversity, that is, when the physical location of the cloud servers in the data center is scattered and not dependent on a particular spot. This feature helps in dealing with the aftermath of natural disasters and power outage. Insecure APIs. Application user interface is the primary instrument used to operate the system within the cloud infrastructure. This process includes internal use by the company's employees and external use by consumers via products like mobile or web applications. The external site is critical due to all data transmission enabling the service and, in return, providing all sorts of analytics. The availability of API makes it a significant cloud security risk. In addition to that, API is involved in gathering data from edge computing devices. How to avoid problems with API? There are several ways. Penetration testing that emulates an external attack targeting specific API endpoints and attempting to break the security and gain access to the company's internal information. General system security audits. Secure socket layer, transport layer security, encryption for data transmission, that is SSL or TLS. Multi-factor authentication to prevent unauthorized access due to security compromises also plays an important role. Misconfigured cloud storage. Misconfigured cloud storage is a continuation of an insecure API cloud security threat. For the most part, security issues with the cloud computing happen due to an oversight and subsequent superficial audits. Here's what happened. Cloud misconfiguration is a setting for cloud servers for storage or computing purposes that makes it vulnerable to breaches. How to avoid misconfigured cloud storage? Double check cloud security configurations upon setting up a particular cloud server. While it seems obvious, it gets passed by for the sake of more important things like putting stuff into storage without second thoughts regarding its safety. Use specialized tools to check security configurations. There are third-party tools like CloudSploit and Dome9 that can check the state of security configurations on a scheduled and identify possible problems before it is too late. Denial of service attack. 
Scalability is one of the significant benefits of transitioning of to the cloud. The system can carry a considerable workload, but that doesn't mean it can handle more unexpectedly. It can overload and stop working. That's a significant cloud security threat. Sometimes the goal is not to get into the system, but to make it unusable for customers. That's called denial of service attack. In essence, DOS is an old fashioned system overload with a rocket pack on the back. The purpose of the denial of service attack is to prevent users from accessing the applications or disrupting their workflow. How to avoid DOS attack? Up to date intrusion detection system. The system needs to be able to identify anomalous traffic and provide an early warning based on credentials and behavioral factors. It is a cloud security break in alarm. Firewall traffic type inspection features to check the source and destination of incoming traffic and also accesses its possible nature by IDS tools. This feature helps to short out good and bad traffic and swiftly cut out the bad. Source rating limiting. One of the critical goals of TOS is to consume bandwidth. Blocking of the IP addresses that are considered to be a source of an attack helps to keep the situation under control. To get a clear picture, you should be aware of the following security threats and risks that may appear on the cloud as well as on-premise servers. There are multiple threats and risks that are unique to the cloud, such as reduced visibility, separation among multiple tenants fails, data deletion is incomplete, cloud and on-premise threats and risk, credentials are stolen, vendor lock-in complicates moving to other cloud service providers, increased complexity strains the IT staff, cloud service provider supply chain is compromised, and also note insufficient due diligence increases cybersecurity risk. The adoption of cloud technology was a game changer, both for companies and hackers. It brought a whole new set of security risks for cloud computing and created numerous cloud security issues. The shift to the cloud technology gave companies much needed scalability and flexibility to remain competitive and innovative in the ever-changing business environment. At the same time, it made enterprise data vulnerable to leaks and losses due to a variety of factors. Thanks to the advanced security technology and innovations, cloud has staying power. Even in a hostile world where hackers are constantly trying to attack key systems and sensitive data, it's now up to the individual businesses and organizations to fully leverage the cloud security tools so that they can ensure they remain fully protected. In a space characterized by early adopters, fast moving trends and evolving security challenges, expect to encounter a certain level of noise in the market. Enterprises should take the time to separate best practices from hype choose their cloud security partners with care and be prepared for some level of uncertainty. The only constant of the cloud's native security landscape is going to be continued change and evolving roles as more application development teams move in the direction of speed and agility. Security for these applications is bound to change at the same pace. Stay on top of these upcoming trends as a rapid innovation in the cloud security portion of the industry is closing the gap. For businesses that know what to look for advanced cloud tools, there are some exciting trends ahead. With the world battling a global pandemic, this might seem like a strange time to reassess your cloud security. But in reality, this is a necessary step and there is no time better than now. None of the cloud security threats that we've discussed are new, but they are more relevant and prominent than ever since all the employees are now forced to work from home. Ultimately, by taking this opportunity to reevaluate your cloud security, you will be protecting your data, your customers, and your staff in the long run. 
This will set you and your organization up for a successful future. This brings us to the end of our presentation and we hope you enjoyed it and it was informative. So until next time, stay safe, be well and goodbye. I hope you enjoyed our presentation. Goodbye and stay safe.